When hitting in the cage, we have always heard hit the back of the net. My son seems to be hitting the top more, but loves the way it feels. Is it something to be concerned about? Well, without video, <clears throat> I'll take a shot. I'm, if he's right, he's early. One of the most important things a hitter has to learn when he gets this right is he's quicker and his decision on when to swing, the ball will be closer on him now than it used to be because he's quicker, makes logical sense. So if he is quicker and he still hasn't made that timing adjustment, he's not gonna hit the ball here, he's gonna hit it there. And so it'll go up. So assuming the swing is good, it's just a timing issue. He said it feels good, so maybe it is good. I would recommend that you set the tee outside and back toward his belly button. Most of the time when I set a tee, I set it even with the front foot. But when I want to work on driving balls oppo, I move it back to the belly button. Okay? Have him take, assuming a good swing now, have him take his good swing with the ball on a tee back at his belly button and say, I'm a lefty, I'd say, drive it over the shortstop's head. If he's a righty, I'd say drive it over the second baseman's head. This will move his mental image of contact deeper. And when his mental image of contact is deeper, where he's supposed to hit the ball is deeper, then he'll let it travel more before he pulls the trigger. When you flip him balls, flip him outside consistently. I don't know if you've seen Pujols and um, Freddie Freeman's BP before a game, all they do, Freddie, it's a line drive over the shortstop's head. Albert, it's a line drive over the second baseman's head. They're not trying to drive the ball out of the park. Ian Happ told me, I don't want to drive the ball out of the park in batting practice. I want to hit nice oppo line drives. That enforces where they hit the ball, where in their swing they hit the ball, okay? So, if the swing's not good, well, that's a whole other story. I would need video to advise you better, but that's the best I can do without video. One thing to help that is you should always get the feeling that the ball was hit right there within your swing. Now, right there could be out there on an inside pitch. So what is right there? Right there is six o'clock. My bat starts up here at what I call 12 o'clock, and I want to hit the ball at 6. Whether it's there, or there, or there, it's 6 o'clock in relation to my body and my arms, not in relation to the point of contact. So 6 o'clock on an outside pitch is right there. Notice the position my hands and arms are in. 6 o'clock on a middle pitch is right there. Same position with my hands and arms, it's just my leg has turned me a little further farther. Six o'clock on an inside pitch, same position of my hands and arms, but my leg has turned me forward. When you don't know where within your swing that you should be hitting the ball, then you allow your swing to go all different places. We can't go all different places. We've got one spot to go to and that's six o'clock. That's what we do with our hands and arms, our forearms right here. That's what I do every time I swing. I gotta do this every time I swing. I don't do this sometimes and that sometimes. I do this every time and my body reacts to the ball. My leg turns to react to the ball, okay? Make sure he understands hitting the ball at six o'clock. Actually, I say six o'clock, that's the feeling. You'll actually hit it at five or seven, depending on what you're, how you're looking at the clock. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Hit it at five. Or if you're a right-hander, uh, 12 to one, two, three, four, five, six, hit it at seven. The feeling is six, even though the barrel will whip out there a little forward to hit it at five or seven.